So when God lit the bush on fire, he yeah. talked to Moses by talking through the bush on fire. Because God's where? Where's God? He's, he's up in heaven, right? We don't see him ever. So this way he burned the bush on fire so he could talk to Moses. Because if you're a human, you can't just see God out of nowhere. So he lit the bush on fire. He explained to Moses that, we, hey, we got to get rid of this guy Pharaoh. we got to free the people, our Jewish people, right? So what do you think they did? What did Moses do? He walked over and said, what? Let my people free. Let my people free. So then Pharaoh was like, no, I will not let your people free. I don't care about you, right? Like, and, he, and who's who's Moses' best friend? God. So what do you think God did? He had what? He had to uh, help, uh, help, help help Moses yeah. free the people because Moses can't do it by himself because the yeah. Pharaoh is the big guy. So what he did was he punished the Pharaoh. Are you ready how he punished him? How? So God sent the plagues. He sent locusts. He sent um, floods. He sent frogs. And he sent this upon the city. And remember, what's the worst thing that he did? He killed what? Do you remember who he killed? killed the what? What born sons? The firstborn. Firstborn sons, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what he did was he told Moses the secret behind it. He was like, hey, Moses, what we're going to do is we're going to kill all the firstborn sons. It's pretty crazy, right? To kill yeah. them. But don't you think the Pharaoh deserves it because how mean he is? Yeah. Okay, he yeah. He would have killed me. Everybody, exactly. So what they did was he told Moses that, hey, I'm going to kill all the firstborn sons. You know what Moses did? He gave him a secret. He told all the Jews that, hey, God's going to go around and kill everybody, the firstborn sons, unless you do one thing. You know what that one thing was? What? He took blood. Of a lamb, so what they do is they sacrifice a lamb and they put blood all over the doors. So when they put the blood on the doors, when the angel of death comes by to kill the firstborn sons, if they had the blood on the doors, he wouldn't kill the sons. So all the Jews knew about it ahead of time. So they went to their homes and they put this blood on the doors and they marked all the houses. But the, do you think the Egyptians knew the bad guys? No. No. So right. So what happened was when the angel of death came by, they killed. All the firstborn sons in Egypt, except for the Jewish people, because they all know it, because they're the good people, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all the people died. So Pharaoh now is what? He's freaking out, because yeah. he's like, oh my God, this is real. He, at first, he didn't believe Moses. He wasn't listening to him. So now all the firstborn sons died. Now what do you think Pharaoh's doing? He's, he's scared, right? Like, he's freaking out. He's freaking out, dude. Everybody just died. His kid, his own kid got killed. Pharaoh's kid. Mm -hmm. So he's the ruler of everybody bad, right? So what do you think he's going to do now? So Moses. He's going to try to kill Moses or do what? Or he'll be Moses the whole time, just wanted to be free, right? Yeah. What do you think he'll do then? He would just, when you do what I would do? What? I would punch the Pharaoh in the face. Right, that's what anybody would do, but he couldn't because there's guards and there's evil people in the way. So Moses couldn't even do that. So what he did was he finally just said, okay, you know what, Moses, you're right. I, I can't believe that this is happening right now because everyone just died. And he let everyone go. He ended up freeing all the people because that happened because he couldn't believe that God was real, right? So he let all the people go, all the Jewish people. And what happened was when he let them go, they didn't have anywhere to go. Moses didn't think ahead of time. You know, he didn't have Google or anything. He didn't have an iPad to figure out where he was going to go. So when they went out, they just ended up where? In the what? In the woods. Right, it would be woods if there was if there was mm -hmm. trees and stuff then, but there was no trees. It was just a desert. What's the desert? Sand. Sand. And there's no trees, there's no nothing to hide. Wait. So yeah, they were free, but they got stuck in this desert. So when they did it, they took everything they could take. They went to the desert, right? And all they had was bread, but they didn't have yeast or anything. So in the desert, the bread never rose. So it becomes what? Matzah. Matzah. Exactly. So now they're in the desert, and what happens? If they're in the desert and you have no iPad with Google Maps on it, what's going to happen? You could, you could like... Find some place out of nowhere that you don't know which True, you direction. can run into somewhere, but if you don't have any anywhere to go and you don't know what anything around, you're you're usually gonna get what? Starts with an L. Lost. Lost. Exactly, perfect. So you got lost. So the Jewish people ended up wandering the desert for a long, long time. We don't know how long it was, but it was a really long time. They got stuck in the desert. But eventually they found their way out and they got freed up. Like good thing. I know, but I that was doesn't not even matter in the story. Good thing I was not <laughs> Good thing. If you were there, you would have killed it because you would have had your iPad and you would be like, yo guys, let's go this way and let's Google Maps this way out real quick, right? But they didn't have iPads back then. Yeah. So, that's what happened. That's the story. So, who's the bad guy? The Pharaoh. Uh, who's the good guy? The Jewish people. The Jewish people and who's their, who's their leader? Who, took, who helped them? Moses and God. Moses and God, because God is Moses is what? Best friend. Best friend. And he felt bad and he wanted to help the Jewish people. Right? Like, so they, good they, thing I was 
not one of the first ones. Well, I am one you of the You are, but ones. Moses would have told you, right? And then, yeah. And then mom and dad would have put the, the marking on the door, and when the angel of death came, you would have been safe because we're Jewish. And what are the Jewish people? They're they're technically called what? Chosen. Did you yeah. know that? Yeah, they were chosen by God. Which, by God. And which, where's where's the promised land? What's our what's our what's our homeland called? Uh, it's not Egypt anymore. It's called. It starts with an I. No. Ireland. Is. Israel. Ireland's close though. Ireland's close. It's, it's north of there. But Ireland wasn't around either back then because yeah. So it wasn't Israel back Israel. then. It was Egypt. Yes. Cool. So now you know the story? Yeah. Good. Hey.